Hi, in this video I want to show you how to configure Tailwind 3 in an Angular project. Tailwind is a CSS framework that is enjoying great success for several reasons. It doesn't not offer ready-to-use components, but Tailwind is an utility-first framework that offers several features to compose any type of layout. Thanks to the use of PostCSS, we can integrate media queries, pseudo-classes, and do many magic directly into our templates. But above all, is optimized to include in the bundle only the part of the framework that is really used and consequently is very light. After creating a project with Angular CLI by using the ng command, we install all the dependencies we need. The package Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, that is the tool that Tailwind used to enable most of its features, and Auto Prefixer, useful to ensure compatibility with all browsers. At the end of the installation, we can run Tailwind CSS in it to create the configuration file in which we simply enter the path of the file we want to process. Finally, in the styles CSS file, we use the basic framework utilities to make them available globally throughout the application. We can now run the Angular project by using the npm start command. And now we can open any component in this case, app component, and we can simply use some CSS classes provided by Tailwind. My current version of the editor, WebStorm, is not able to suggest Tailwind classes in inline templates, so we need to create an external one. Now, the editor will suggest all the available classes, and as you can see, it's very easy to apply a different size for the text or apply CSS classes to a button, choosing from a large amount of possibilities. In fact, we have now created a green button. After clearing the cache and opening Chrome DevTools, we can see that the size of the framework impacts for only 9 kilobytes. And if we add some classes to our templates, we see that the size increases slightly. So, as you can imagine, this framework is suitable when we want to create a very lightweight bundle. Anyway, one of the reasons why Tywin is not so appreciated by some developers is the high amount of classes to be applied in the template. However, as you can see, you can also use the super useful apply utility to create a new CSS class that is based on many other Tailwind classes and this greatly simplifies its use. Now, I want to show you how you can also use pseudo classes, for example, by applying a different green color at a rollover. You can also use animations, media query, or apply CSS classes when there is a specific attribute applied to the element. In this case, we simply apply opacity 25 and we disable mouse event when the disabled attribute is present. However, we have plenty of possibilities to create any type of layout from Flexbox, CSS Grid, Columns, and if you look at the Tailwind documentation, you will find that this provides a huge amount of utilities. If that's not enough, Tailwind provides a premium UI kit called Tailwind UI, really useful to create landing and marketing pages, e-commerce, or applications. As you can see, each template is nothing more than an HTML template that uses a lot of Tailwind classes, so you can decide to copy everything, just a few parts or just take an inspiration. My advice is to give Tywin a chance because I'm sure you will love it. That's all for this video and if you liked it, I invite you to leave a comment and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you on the next video.